Hello guys. <laughs> and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of tuning in, you're welcome. My name is Yuri Miss Jola Kendi, filming all the way from Ubu State here in Nigeria. Yes, I film on lifestyle, challenges and spirituality. So if you're new here, you're welcome. Just press click on that subscribe button at the end. God bless you. So <laughs> Today I want to speak a little about spirituality. Yes, I've been thinking of what can we do during the week. I've been thinking so, and I want to say a very big thank you to the Holy Spirit who led this people across my path this week. So there are some questions. I actually made a chat with some of my brothers and sisters, and so I have some questions based on that. Let me read the questions out now. The first question is on sexual receptions. Why God made us sexually? receptive at a young age and the sexual desires we encounter as Christians and let's provide some possible solutions to them now firstly i want you to know that if you are like sexually receptive that's a kind of a way of god telling you that yes my daughter my child you are good to go like you are normal you are in good condition so don't think that if you are like if you are having this urge then you always think that there's something wrong with you. No, there's nothing wrong with you. Because God is telling you that your body is in good shape. So, now some people, the problem they have is that when they are feeling this urge, this sexual urge, let me use that word, they are always like, they want to, they shall, they shall want to find every means of like providing solution to the urge. But my dear, let me tell you, you might, you might be doing it and you might be escaping. You might have been doing it and be escaping, but it is coming that you will do it. You won't be able to escape. So, what do you think could be the solutions? Firstly, I think the environment that we are, like the environment we're exposed to matters. The environment we are exposed to matters. Knowing who we are to matters. If you know who you are, you know, say because now, okay, let me use myself, I'm a student. Now, before I left, before I left home, I was like, I was a good girl, okay. And I got to stand out on the bad girl. Does that make sense? That means I don't know who I am. I don't know who, who in actual sense I am. I'm just deceiving myself. So, if you know who you are, if you know the word of God for your life, if you know the purpose, the destiny of God for your life, then... You are good to go. Are you getting it? So you won't allow most stupid to kill you at a young age. So I think our environment matters. What type of environment are you really exposed to? Those are the things like those are the things that is those are the things that are actually killing young people these days. They are environment. What environment are you exposed to? It really matters. What kind of like sometimes I just wonder a little child having a big phone like this. I mean like kilo fishy. So what that person is really, what that child or that young girl or that young boy is exposed to, to, it really matters. So what are you exposing yourself to? So that's my first, my first solution. Now, I said what you're exposed to really matters. So like now, we see children of 13, 14, 15, 16 years of age, they're already exposed to all these things that are no normal. And you now be like, those children, what will, what will be their end? So what we're exposed to? It really matters so i think sometimes what we're exposed to it controls our life sometimes what you are, you are exposed to really controls your life it goes a long way what are you exposed to when it comes to like sexual urges sexual feelings what are you exposed to some people is pornography some people they cannot say anything under the skirt as in anything beneath the skirt they don't want to see it they're already lost so you should learn to control what control your urges control what you are exposed to that will really help you go a long way in life so on that, you need to like, don't allow your emotions, your sexual urges, don't allow them to dominate you. You need to dominate them. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this, the urges will not come, but like seriously, you need to control it. Learn to control it. You are not married. You are born with passion already. Do you want to kill yourself? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you the truth. Go stop burning with passion. If you feel like you cannot hold your body, go and get married. That's my own little advice. So learn to control your body. Learn to control your emotions, your urges. Learn to control it. Learn to control what you're exposed to. Control it. So, and the parent too matters. The parent too matters. Some parents they don't care what their children is, is exposed to. Some parents, in my own distinct, they don't care what their children is exposed to. And doing that, it's it is killing the child little by little. It is killing the child little by little. So let me, <laughs> let me use this example. Okay, you send your child to a school and eventually you believe that okay well, because you have sent that child you believe that because you have sent that child to a higher institution the child is already grown up already supposed to be able to take care of he or herself that's your own belief but you don't know what that child is doing <laughs> i have a very 
a very good example. Now, when, when I was in 200 level, there's this lady in 100 level. <laughs> Sabuki. <laughs> Sabuki just called me and she was like, Ha! Ah, Sakeni! She go be on mobile, bye bye bye, what to do more? And I was like, Eh? What's she kin? She was like, Ah, show ya in me. I was like, I'm surprised because I'm a little bit surprised. She was like, Oh, yeah, one of She wasn't surprised because all the way, bubo, like the way she used to behave, all the traits, all her character, they are already embedded in that sexuality. So she can't control herself again. And that led to like any pregnancy. Our destinies are different, but some people, because of this sexual urges or what do they call it, they tend to a little mistake, it destroys their life. Mata, mata. So please, like, please, if you're a student, if you're still like, or you're a fresher, please, please, you are going to school to learn. You are not going there to, like, you are not going there to get yourself exposed to things that you are not supposed to get exposed to at a very young age. Learn to control yourself. Control yourself. Learn to, like, the friends you have to matters. What type of friends do you keep? What type of friends do you work with? Well, the things that matter. So I think I will talk more deeply on this another day. I think I will talk more deeply on this another day. So I have another question. <laughs> so let's look at this. <laughs> this is my mama. She's very funny. <laughs> I don't know what she's like starting up with that based on this question. Now, the question says, now if God is saying your husband should not work, how are you going to do it? Firstly, I want to know that I'm not married. I'm single. And secondly, I want to know that's not in my to-do list now. Thirdly, let's get serious. <laughs> If God is saying does not she like no work? Firstly, when she asked me the question, I was somehow confused that is it somebody that's already working? Or somebody that has not started working at all. She now said somebody like somebody that needs to get fully into God's business. And I was like, Wow, wow, that's great. So I said, firstly, I will support him. There's nothing I can do as a wife. I said, Why what you need to do is support. You will give your hundred percent support. So I said I will support him fully with everything I have and because I believe in purpose and destiny. Because I believe that if he doesn't do that, he won't be able to fulfill his purpose and his destiny here on it. So I said I will support him fully. Like seriously, I'm going to support him. <laughs> I'm going to support him. So there's nothing I can do on that. And then she wasn't like, wow, that take a strong woman. And I was like, well, <laughs> those who know their God will be strong and they will do exploit. So that was my answer. They will be strong. And they will do exploit and then by strength come with us to understand that by strength shall no man prevail if you are like if god says that you are strong already he won't use you god only in romans was it in romans or first Corinthians? that was there I, I was made to understand that god used the wise things to confuse those who think they are wise can you see that and then he used the weakness to confuse those who think they are strong can you see that I don't really need to like be strong. God has already seen my capacity. That's me. God has already seen my capacity. He has already seen my level of faith. He has already seen what I, I can accommodate before I announce he wants to. So, auto they are different. It takes a great step of faith. Because I, that, I said, well, it's not as if people did not have faith before. So, well, and then it will also help us. It will build us. It will build us. We're already like, we're already people of faith. But when God, you know, when you are called into ministry, that helps you. It continuously builds you, it continuously order your step in God. So, I think that's that. And then, me. <laughs> me. Like me. Like me, Gongo. Like me, Gongo. I believe in purpose and I believe in destiny. So, in order for us to fulfill purpose and destiny in life, I think we can't do without God. So, I think we cannot do without God. So you have to have that one at the back of your mind. This I come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I really appreciate. Do you have something you want us to shout up about? Please just drop it in the comments box. God bless you. <laughs> Please subscribe. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. We are going to enjoy our save. Like we are going to enjoy more videos like this. So make sure you subscribe. To those people who have subscribed, I'm saying a very big thank you to you. God bless you. Don't forget to share. His name is hallowed in the firmament He's a pass of all I'm through space and time